Welcome back, this is Serial Snacks, and today I'm talking about installing the new Sonic Ethers version 10 release candidate 7 shaders. Pretty unbelievable, it's actually a mod of a mod, so it's a mod of the GS GLSL shaders. And what you need to do is follow the links in the description. I put the tutorial in the description, but there's also a link to Sonic Ethers Minecraft forum page, which will have an updated version of everything. At the time of this posting, the GLSL shader mod that was available was for Optifine HD UD5. And you will see here on my screen, I don't know if you can see my setup screen for my Magic Launcher, because Magic Launcher is the first thing you want to get. Once you download the shaders mod 1.4.6, it will have a naming convention in the actual file name that says OFU and then whatever the particular version of Optifine is. And you can see on my screen that I have OFU D5, which means that I had to op download Optifine HDU D5. And whatever the, the, the name is in that GLSL shader, you have to get that version of Optifine or it will not work and you will have problems. You can also see on this screen that my Minecraft jar 1.4.7, it just says 1.4.7 and it doesn't say modified. You have to have a very clean version of Minecraft jar. I would recommend logging into Minecraft and forcing it to update so that you get the new version. So once you do that, you just add your Optifine into this magic launcher by clicking add called mods on my desktop or wherever you'd like to put it and then put the two files that you have the GLSL shaders mod the zip file and the Optifine into that and then once you do that you can say OK and log into Minecraft and once we get in Minecraft I'll show you the rest of the set alright so this is what the mod looks like at night which I think is pretty cool you can see the moonlight streaming in here and all the areas that we've lit up. This is actually almond flower in my server, but this kind of shows you how the torches have lit the area up and given it that cool lighting feel. Um, I'm actually using the BD Craft texture pack. You don't have to use the BD Craft. You can use whatever you want. Actually, the default texture pack looks pretty cool with these shaders as well. And actually, you can see the water down here. It's hard to see at night. I will be right back and I will show you what daytime looks like. I actually think this it may lag a little bit on YouTube, but it actually looks a little better and runs a little better than the last version of this mod, in my opinion. So let's, it's coming to be daytime, actually. So let's take a look here. This is pretty cool. Uh, let me go up over here so we can get the full effect of these new shaders that Sonic Ether has put out for us. He's done an incredible job with the help of Karyonyx and a few other people uh, that he's mentioned, of course, on his Facebook page. It's maybe kind of hard to see because it looks like the this mountain over here is blocking some of the light and the skeleton shooting at me. Let's get out of the way here. All right, of course, he's going to chase me down. We're going to check out the cool textures or t cool shaders while I'm getting attacked by a skeleton. But pretty unbelievable. I think he's actually made it more subtle in a way, which actually strengthens the shaders in my opinion. So hold on just a minute and the light will start streaming over and you'll see how amazing these shaders are. I probably picked the wrong spot here because, first of all, there we go. Yeah, he's dying in the sunlight. You'll see it right when it comes over the mountain, how amazing these shaders are. So, and I know that the installation of this is relatively complicated for some of you. And uh, here we go. Here's the light coming through. But it's really not that bad. It's just because uh, Sh Sonic Ether doesn't want to steal other people's work, he actually doesn't bundle all the mods into one pack. Because that would kind of be against kind of the modder's code, I guess. And instead, you have to do these multiple steps to really get it to work well. But in the end, it's really worth it. Look how nice this looks. And I actually think the performance of it is probably the best of all the ones he's done so far so this really does minecraft justice in my opinion and here's a, you can see this water streaming out of the wall here the water looks very very nice actually in my opinion it's again it's he's done a real subtle kind of thing with it but it looks pretty good so that's it hope you've enjoyed my quick video my quick tutorial of how to install sonic ethers version 10 rc7 of his shaders mod and 
Uh, it works for Minecraft 1.4.7. Minecraft 1 1.5 will probably be coming out in two weeks, so this installation guide may change, but if you follow all the steps outlined in the links I've put into the description, you should have no problem, although I'm sure I'll get plenty of comments of people who do, but just, just you know, make sure you read very closely because what version of Optifine you get and what version of you know all all the stuff that you have whether you have a clean minecraft jar whether you have the right version of optifine whether you have you know everything just kind of lined up correctly uh, will make a big difference on whether or not you can get this to work and and you will not be disappointed you can see this light shining down on almond flowers treehouse over here pretty cool so impressive stuff so i hope you've enjoyed my quick look at sonic ethers shaders mod thanks for joining me